Question 5. The line L1 has an equation y equals negative 2x plus 3. The line L2 is perpendicular to L1 and passes through the point 5, 6. So part A, we're asked to find the, an equation for L2 in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0, where a, b and c are integers. Okay, there's a couple of things we need to note here. Um, in order to write the equation of a line, we're going to need to use the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So, in other words, we're going to need the gradient of the line and we're going to need a point on the line. Well, we have a point because it tells us that L2 passes through the point 5, 6. And we can work out the gradient because it tells us that it's perpendicular to L1 and we can see L1 is there. So, part A. L1 is the line y equals negative 2x plus 3. That implies that the gradient of that line, I'll call it m1, is equal to negative 2. So we're just using the y equals mx plus c. Now, as L1 is perpendicular, so this is the symbol for perpendicular, to L2, that implies that m1 times m2 is going to equal negative 1. So if I multiply the gradients together, I get negative 1. That means that the gradient of L2, or m2 as I'm going to call it, is going to be the negative reciprocal of that, which is going to give me 1 over 2. You might have been told to flip it and change the sign. So we have the gradient, we have the point. Uh, the point I'll just write down again is 5 and 6. So we're going to use the formula now. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Got to know this off by heart. Okay, let's substitute the value. So y, this is going to be our y1, this will be our x1. So y minus 6 equals a half times x minus 5. Now I'm going to eliminate the problem of having this half by timesing everything by 2. 2y minus 12 equals x minus 5 and let's take everything to one side so I'm going to take the left hand side to the right hand side we get x minus 2y <laughs> excuse me and I've got negative 5, and when I add 12 onto it, we get a positive 7, and that's going to be equal to 0, and we should have written it in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0, a, b, and c are integers, so that's that question sorted out. Okay, so the next part, it says the line L crosses the x-axis at the point A, and the y-axis at the point B. Find the coordinates of A and the co and the y coordinate of B. So we're looking at this line L2. So this is L2 here. And it's asking us essentially to work out the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So A, the x-coordinate of A. So A is going to be some point, um, let's call it little a. 0 because it's telling us that it's crossing the x-axis at the point A that means that y is equal to 0 and then where it crosses the y-axis at the point B the y-axis at the point B this is the x-intercept that's where x is equal to 0 okay so A is the uh, Big A is point um, A0, so let's work out this X coordinate. Um, wherever I have an X, I'm going to put an A. You could just leave it as X. In fact, let's leave it as X. Let's not overcomplicate things. But some value X with a 0. So we get X minus 2 times 0 is 0, plus the 7 is going to equal 0. 
implies that x will equal negative 7. So a is the point 7, 0. Let's work out b. b is going to be some point where x is 0, but y, we're going to try and work out that y value. So we get 0 minus 2 times y plus the 7 equals 0. Substituting the values in. So that implies that 2y is equal to 7. Hence, y must equal 3.5, or 7 over 2. So b is the point 0, 3.5. Fantastic. Given that O is the origin, we're asked to find the area of the triangle OAB. So I should make sure I label the points, uh, the parts correctly. This was part B here, and part C. Part C. We want the area of OAB. Now OAB is a triangle, we could do a little sketch, I'm going to do a little sketch over here just to kind of help us visualise what's going on. Okay, so we worked out that A crossed that 7, 0, so it's, it's there, that's the point A, 7, 0. Um, o is the origin, it's here, and B is uh, 0 and 3.5, so something like that. 0 and 3.5. We're asked to find the area of the triangle. So, forms a triangle. And you should know that the area of a triangle is the, uh, the base times the height divided by 2. The base in this case is 7. The height is 3.5. And we need to divide that by 2. 7 times 3.5. Well, let's do, let's do uh, 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So we need to do 3.5 times 3.5. Uh, let's do 3.5. So a bit of long multiplication here. I'm trying to avoid the calculator because it is a non calculator paper. So times by 5, 2, 5, 2, 16, 17, and then I want to times that by 7, and then 49, so 122.5, and um, which is actually going to be 12.25. So 12.25. The question had two decimal places in it, so my answer should have two decimal places. So 